what up Moon Union Youth. Um, Keith asked me to do another Devo and so we're kind of coming to a close with our whole refocus series. This is our last week and so I'm I'm going to do my last one in Matthew 7 verses 24 through 27. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on the house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell, and a great was the fall of it. So every year we go to the beach, and we I, we, I build a sandcastle every year. It's just like, you have to do it. You're at the beach, you have to build a sandcastle. And so every year I build a sandcastle. And every year I go inside, I go to bed, and every year and every day I wake up, I go back out, and it's never there. Every year, it disappears. Where does it go? It falls over, and it goes back out and flattens out into the ocean. And so, why is that? When the waves come up and they hit the sandcastle at night, it falls because there's no foundation. It doesn't have a strong foundation. There's a foundation to the sandcastle, but it's not a strong foundation. And so, as believers, we have to have a strong foundation in Christ. And that's kind of going to be my last um, last Evo. Um, we've been talking about killing sin um, with our church and a few of the Devos. We've been talking about killing sin and getting rid of it. Um, and to be able to kill sin, you have to have a strong foundation in Christ. I'm not saying that just because you have a strong foundation in Christ, you aren't going to sin because you are. But once you have a strong foundation in Christ, it says... And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on the house, but it did not fall because it was founded on the rock, which is Christ. And so and so when the rain comes and when these tough situations come and we don't know what's happening and, and life is crazy and we're stuck at home, we can't do anything, and now we're about to kind of ease back into a, a normality of where we used to be. And no matter where the society or, or, or the new trends that don't line up with us as believers. We have to stand firm in that. And through every trial and every situation, we have to stand firm. Are we perfect? No. But, you know, there's a lot of people that say I'm a believer and they build their house on the sand and they have this really weak foundation. And, and so when the, once they get hit with a tough situation, they're out, they're done. They're falling. They don't want anything else to do with Christ. And so, don't be like the foolish man who builds his house on the sand. You know, so how do you have a strong relationship with Christ? You're constantly praying to him. You're constantly talking to him. You know, you look at your friends. You talk to them every day, all the time. Um, at least I do. I, I talk to a bunch of people. That's just my personality. Like, you, gotta, you have to talk to them. You have to get to know them, to have a friendship with them. You know, same thing with Christ. You know, you want to get to know him. And how do you get to know him? You get to know him by reading his word, by praying and talking to him constantly. And so, seniors, you're about to have this whole uh, new world of of college, of a whole, basically, like, starting over. You're on your own. And that's it. And everything's about to change. And you don't know what's going to come. You don't know what's going to um, arise at college. But... I do know that you don't have to be worried and that you'll, you will be fine even in the toughest situations at college because if you are built on God and you are built on his word, then even through the tough times, we rejoice and we count it all joy because we we have this foundation, we have this relationship with the cross, we have, we have trust in him and no matter what happens, we, we are fully surrendered and we are fully on board with him. And so... Uh, right now have a heart check do you have a strong foundation with Christ do you have a true strong foundation because when tough situations come how do you handle them as believers we have to we have to be in his word daily we have to we have to pray and we have to talk to him constantly and there are days that we don't do that and that hurts us that hurts me I'm guilty of it you're guilty of it everybody's guilty of it that's just what it is but as believers, uh, as we come back into this normal societies or we're going to start 
going back to church, hopefully if nothing changes, you know, it's easy to fall into these worldly traps and these, these worldly temptations. But if we are built on Christ and we are built on his word, then we can stand through the toughest of situations. You know, you, you look at Job. He had everything taken away from him, just like that. And he still, he still worshiped God. He had a strong foundation. He's like, God, I'm still gonna glorify you. Even even in, in, in my tough times, I know that you're getting glory. And we can stand through that. We have to be in his word daily. We have to pray daily. And once we do these things, well, we've been talking about killing sin. Once we have a strong foundation with Christ, no matter what happens, no matter what, what comes our way, once we are built in Christ, once we are truly built in Christ, and when we aren't built on this on the sand, which is just going to slide out from under your feet, and you're going to fall, once you are truly built on Christ, once you are truly in his word, since there are situations where you, you won't even know you won't even know if it was tough because even in our toughest situations, we get to count it joy and we find our joy knowing that God is in control. And so, um, you know, have a heart check. See where you're at right now. Do you have a strong foundation in Christ? Or is it right now, are you, are you on the sand and you're just waiting until the next storm comes and you're just going to fall and you have to start over? You know, start right now. And it's not, and I feel like a lot of times it's, you know, I just, you know, I'm, I'm 18. And, you know, I'll start focusing on this later in life. We have to focus on it now. Because once we focus on it now, once we get strong in our faith now, once we go to college like the seniors, or, or once once we once we focus on it now, the older we get, you know, we're going to have a stronger relationship with Christ. So if we start now, the stronger relationship with Christ we're going to have. And so, um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, that's all I have. But just see where you're at. See if you have a strong foundation in Christ. Um, love you guys. I miss you. Um, hope you have a good one.